you know, I've watched you sometimes, our people disagree with you, but I mean, I understand some of your approach. I mean, sometimes we take a hard bite. It's all just as fun. Daddy, it's not like this. Why do you call it? The way you. Papa. You know, Papa. Figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. Okay. And of course, when he puts his into you, you suddenly feel it. I think it pretty much done this bite. You know, I've watched you sometimes, our people disagree with you, but mm. I mean, I am. Bismillah Rahman Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Hasbun Allah wa Neem al Wakil the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And here, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. It's Friday, Juma Mubarak, to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. Now, this morning, yesterday, yesterday, one of the gentlemen who come around to sell books to us came around with one of the books, and uh, the title of the book intrigued me. Maybe you should find out and read it. He it said it's for marketers and, you know, all other people who speak. He says, How to Lie with Statistics. How to Lie with Statistics, says by Daryl Huff. How to Lie with Statistics. That's the title of the book. And I was just wondering who else could... Uh, buy those books, you know, those kind of uh, books, how to lie with statistics, but that's just by the by. Now, over the past three days or so, I've been talking about the situation at the Kaneshi Bishop 1 and 2 school, Kaneshi Anglican GSS, my alma mater, and then also the St. Joseph Anglican Primary School. I told you about the fact that some desks had been brought out there, a combination of metal and wood, had been left at the mercy of the weather for more than three weeks before I left for South Africa. And then I came back, I still saw it there. In fact, while I was away, I know that it rained. And while I'm here, I know that it also rained. And so I was wondering what, what was happening, why the schools need the desks. The desks had been brought in, and yet the desks had, had not been taken to the classrooms. And then somebody gave me information from... Uh, who was close to the school gave me information that, oh, it's actually not the fault of the teachers and the headmasters because they are hoping and, and, and wanting to use the decks, go to, go to, go to, giddy, giddy, giddy. But then the mayor of Accra, Elizabeth Kwachosaki, had traveled. And so they, um, they had to come and write something on it donated by AMA and they had not been written. So yesterday I followed through and I've been on this matter for three days, maybe four days, I should say. Yesterday, I went there, and then they had started writing. They had started writing. Oliver, show them. They had started writing. So some people would say, oh, when we come and stand there, Johnny's back, we just speak. We don't say anything, and we just speak and talk and talk plenty. Uh, our scorecard is that they have started writing. There's not that, that, that one. There's another one where they have started writing actually on it. So this is it, fresh. That's fresh paint, right? Donated by Accra Metropolitan. That's, that's me checking it out. The fresh paint there. They have started writing on it, fresh paint. So donated by Accra Metropolitan Assembly. But there's also another one that I saw where the, the decks are beginning to rust. And if you, you come along with me, you find that the metals, you see, they are corroding. And then the, what is we spray or paint on the thing, they are all, yes. So they, they, we have actually allowed the thing to be destroyed. If it hadn't been for Johnny's Bites that spoke about it, we had allowed the thing to be destroyed before the children actually benefit from it. And their children, those who left it at the mercy of the weather, who have traveled outside, who take per diem and allowances and the rest, their children don't attend these Ito schools that you and I attended. Though. Their children attend the best of schools. 
Their children actually school outside the country. When it comes to giving quality to our children and to give them a sense of dignity and hope for them to have a sense of patriotism, then we leave it like that. Look at the chairs. These are not chairs that somebody bought from his or her pocket. These are chairs bought from, with monies from the assembly, and the assembly collects monies from her. Look at it. It is rusting away. Look at it. Rusting and spoiling, even before the children start using them. The headmasters and headmistresses, they are afraid to talk. Because if they speak up or they take initiative, they will be treated like Dr. Shinofori of West Africa Secondary School, who was suspended and publicly embarrassed and clandestinely reinstated. And the report, the fact-finding record, the so-called bogus fact-finding report from the Ghana Education Service, ridiculously has not been put out there. Shame. 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 So they, they are afraid. And look at, look at the number of... Deaths that, are, that were there. This was, we shot this dead in the night. Look at this. The number of deaths out there left at the mercy of the weather. Look, they are, they are going bad even before the students start using them. So we bought them fresh or we had them fabricated or made fresh, but the students will use it as second hand because the sun and the, and the rain had already tasted the chairs before the students would taste the chairs. Take me to Manprobi, please. There's a Bannerman School. And those who live at Manprobi, they know. Bannerman School is not a village school. It's in the city center. It's in the heart of the greater Accra region. It is in the heart. Look at the school. Just, just watch it. Just watch it. And let your heart be broken. So this is Dr. Bannerman School. It is at Manprobi. You see how the school is leaking. Children will go to school this morning in this building. So the question you always ask yourself is whether or not the people who are supposed to be managing our education and to be managing our, our children, whether they take good care of the children at all. You ask yourself that question. Look at the school. The school is leaking. So the possibility of they shutting down the school whenever it rains for the children to go home is very high. Dr. Bannerman School, and this school has trained a lot of great people. There's a, a, a district assembly that's supposed to be managing the school. Look at it. We have left the desk at the mercy of the weather. And then now we, are, we have a leaking school in Accra. I thought these things were usually outside Accra, and then we'll cry about it and say, oh, the children are on their learning on their bellies, etc. But this is in Accra. The first one, there's the success story of Johnny's Bite, and that's our scorecard. We see the problem. We highlight the problem. We follow through. We get authorities to commit to it, and the authorities actually start fixing the problem. When they start, when they finish writing on the desk, we will make sure that they distribute their, their chairs because we understand that it is not just supposed to be for the Bishop 1, Bishop 2, Kanesh Anglican, uh, JHS, and St. Joseph Primary, but it's supposed to be for many of the schools within that catchment area. We will follow through. So we don't just come and stand here and talk. And it's not about English because uh, <laughs> Prophet Zesiyama, his, his video is there. Is <laughs> oh, my God. But look at it. Check it out. This is in Accra. This is in Accra, Ghana. So what are we doing for our children and with our children? 
What are we really doing for them? And yesterday, somebody close to the National Theatre called me. But we'll get to the National Theatre. Show me the seedlings, please. The seedlings. We say, oh, we are planting trees. We are spending money to plant trees. We are spending millions. First year, we spent 12 million. The next year, we, we spent another million. I've been asking where the trees that we say we planted are. Look at the seedlings. Check out the seedlings. And this is right next to GBC, the state broadcaster. This is right in front of the Lutheran school. Right in front of the Kanda Estate cluster of schools. These are the seedlings. Let there to rot. Another year is coming. Another year is coming. Right? We will make another campaign. And then go and say that, oh, we, we are planting trees. Yes. Look at the seedlings. We spent monies to procure these things. And then we will make big speeches. And then those same people who are spending our money to buy these seedlings are the same people who are encouraging and engaging in Galamse. Otunfo said it, not me. Haji Ali Mahama said it, not me. The chiefs have said it, not me. I'm just re-echoing what has already been said. This is also in the city center. Seedlings left to rot. So who took our money, put it in poly bags, and put it under the tree, right in front of the GBC, right in front of the Lutheran school, right in front of the Kanda Estate cluster of schools. At the NMC, opposite it has their media monitoring center. Look at it. Our money, our money, rotting away. We are waiting for next year, and then we will come again and say, National Tree Planting Day, National Tree Planting Day. And then we'll have our president throwing his left hand at chiefs who have leg problems and are deciding to sit. But when his own daughter decides to make a phone call right next to him when the national anthem is being sung and moves around like a devil surrounded by Holy Ghost fire, he finds nothing wrong with it. He won't say anything. His family is more dear to him than the nation. Look at our money. Look at our money. Yet children cannot find food to eat. We say we are planting trees. Let's stay in Nima. Take me to the Nima cluster of schools. In the Nima cluster of schools, when you get to the school, beautiful school. The school environment, they are teaching the children how to live a clean life, how to live a sanitary condition. But guess what? In that same school, you should see where the children go to ease themselves. Beautiful school. The headmasters and head, the head, in fact, they are headmistresses. They are delivering excellently on the job. It is, is, is one of the few Saito schools that I've seen that is walled. And then there's supposed to be a, a one million, one constituency, or one constituency, one million toilet project for the school children. Forgive me if you're having breakfast, but I want to guide you through this. So this is where it is. If you walk down, down the lane, you are going straight to President Akufuado's home at Nima. Right? The children openly wee wee because the place where they have to wee wee, that's one of the children. Forgive me, but the, 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 pain, the painful aspect is that the children openly wee wee. They are asking them to stop bullying. They are teaching them the right things. They have done the artwork, but that is the child. There is no place for them to ease themselves, so they do it anywhere they find it. They find space. I'll take you into the, into the uncompleted building that is supposed to be their toilet. I'll take you in there. I'll take you into the Nima cluster of school. I'll take you there, right there. So if you're having breakfast, please uh, forgive us. Prepare yourselves because I'll take you inside, into the corner itself. What have they done, these children? Over a thousand students who come to school to get education here. And that's, that's one of the toilets that they are supposed to, I, 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 I won't show you the inside of this one because if I show you, your breakfast will be ruined. I tell you. So Kanda State 1 and 2, Kanda Basic 1 and 2, then there's, uh, there's another. Kanda, look at the children. Look at where the children have had to be subjected to. So when they go and finish, we win. Then they go there and go and wash their feet. Look at it. 
Yet there is a toilet project which monies have been spent. And you know the design for the one million per constituency, the toilets. It has some round, round things in front of it. When you see it, no, you see the, the toilets. Look at it. So all these toilets, yes, the boy is walking barefooted. And all these toilets that you find there, they are not. So that's another one. I'm inside the building and the boy is peeing. Inside the building. Now, forgive me if you're having breakfast, but this is the project that has been abandoned. Right? It's next. You won't work more than three minutes. You get there from the president's home. This is it. The project has been left. Meanwhile, we know that one million per constituency was given to every constituency, and the proponents of Kennedy and Japan's campaign came to tell us that 20% of those monies were given to party chairmen to do party business. Won't, they said we should ask Woon to me where the money is. Forgive me if you're having breakfast, but this is, this is a very, very disturbing image. This is in Accra, in Accra. It's not in some bush somewhere. It is in Accra, the heart of Accra. Please, I apologize if the pictures are too graphic, but this, this is what the children are confronted with every day. So there's cholera, there's diarrhea, there's, uh, what's the other way, typhoid, the, all the other diseases, they, they face it. The children at the Nima cluster of schools. So pause the video for me, pause, pause the video for me. I'm sure this design is familiar. You see the round, round things, the holes. This, this design is very familiar with the one million one constituency. It's very familiar. So I'm entering the building now. I'm just entering now. This is it. The, this, this design is very familiar. This, this design is very familiar. Play the video. So today I've showed you Kaneshi, uh, Bishop 1 and 2, Anglican JHS. They left the chairs out there because the mayor had traveled. Suddenly, somebody got our message and they decided that they were going to do the inscription on the decks, which had been left at the mercy of the weather. They are rotting away. Number two, we took you to Dr. Bannerman School and then we showed you how the buildings were, the roofs were leaking and the students were also subjected at the mercy of the weather. And then I took you to uh, the, the Kanda Estate Cluster of Schools right next to GBC where the seedlings had been abandoned. Now I'm showing you Nima Cluster of Schools, four prop, four prop in Accra. All around school children. So the question I ask is, those who are supposed to complete this project, and it's about, been about four years, the children walk barefooted, the children pee outside, what are we teaching them? When they complete school, they will now go out there and every single junction they find, they will pee. They will, they will defecate into plastic poly bags, wrap it and throw it. They will be spitting everywhere because when they went to school to learn sense and to learn how to live, the facilities that they were supposed to have to guide them through and to shape their minds and to sharpen and hone them were taken away from them by people who were supposed to know better, who were supposed to ensure that the contracts were done because the monies were available. Yet it's a castle. One more time, six, uh, uh, Oliver, please. Show, just show the video, the last video of the school, Nima school. That's what we are ending with. Let's show, no, forward it and take it to the, to the place. Let the duty bearers see what they are doing to the next generation. And most of the people who are in leadership now, when they were in schools, they had, if you look at the original architecture of the school, the schools were built such that they had toilets in the, in the, on, the, on each block. That's it. They had toilets on each block. And then when it got to the next generation, Grandpapas and grandmamas managing the situation of the next generation who will take over, they decide to subject them to this cruelty. That's, all, that's why I come here to talk. Because the sense of patriotism that they want the children to have, and why every young person wants to run away out of their country, and why people are not patriotic. Last time, Abraham, uh, Professor Abraham Lante said something. He said that people who are uh, up to 30, you will find that kind of commitment in them. And it is true. Because before they hit 30, so, sorry, sorry for these images, but before they hit 30, they are subjected to all manner of things. All manner of things. Let it sink in. Give me a call. 055 
0556912714 and 0556910154 0559242717 and 0556910154 have a good morning 